Hi everybody, this is Jenica with Riverbend Nature Center and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Eastern Redbud Tree. So I don't know if you've been driving around Wichita Falls and you've noticed these gorgeous trees that have these beautiful blooms all over them, but they are Eastern Redbuds. Um, so a cool thing about this tree is it's actually in the legume family, meaning that it produces beans, which look like this. <laughs> and they, um, yeah, they produce these in the fall. Um, but the flowers behind me, which they actually uh, bloom before the leaves do, are edible. And you can add them to salad if you want a citrusy punch um, to whatever <laughs> lettucey uh, meal you might be enjoying. Um, so this is a native tree, meaning that you can find these here in Texas, which is a good thing because they are acclimated to this environment. Um, so they won't die if we get extreme bouts of heat or cold, um, or they're less likely to. Let me put that caveat on there. Um, they are tolerant of a variety of soils, so from alkaline to sandy to loamy to clay. Um, you plant them, they're probably going to do fine, which is pretty awesome. They don't get very tall. It's 20 to 30 feet is their average height, um, but so they're kind of a great ornamental tree, especially for gardens. Um, but they do get reasonably tall, so if you want something that's, you know, covered in beautiful purpley blossoms in your garden, they're a really great choice for that. Um, so yeah, that's just quick facts about the uh, Eastern Redbud tree. Um, head to your local nursery and pick one up for yourself. And uh, let's let's plant some uh, some native plants around Wichita.